So, since we have such a hope, we act with great confidence. We aren't like Moses, who used to put a veil over his face so that the Israelites couldn't catch the end of what was fading away. But their minds were closed. Right up to the present day, the same veil remains when the Old Covenant is read. The veil is not removed because it is taken away by Christ. Even today, whenever Moses is read, a veil lies over their hearts. But whenever someone turns back to the Lord, the veil is removed. The Lord is the Spirit, and where the Lord's Spirit is, there is freedom. All of us are looking with unveiled faces at the glory of the Lord, as if we were looking in a mirror. We are being transformed into that same image, from one degree of glory to the next degree of glory. This comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. This is why we don't get discouraged. Given that we receive this ministry in the same way that we receive God's mercy, Instead, we reject secrecy and shameful actions. We don't use deception, and we don't tamper with God's word. Instead, we commend ourselves to everyone's conscience in the sight of God by the public announcement of the truth.